Listen carefully. Watch. Learn. Mortal Kombat has begun. There's a war coming. We need to fight before it's too late. Finish them! Mortal Kombat it started as this very simple 8-bit fighting game that was revolutionary at the time. I liked the idea that we could bring these characters to a level that hadn't really been seen before. In the games, the fighting is brutal. Fight! And so you've got to hire these people that have that ability. Excellent. The fight scenes are epic. It's mind-blowing what they do, really. The fatalities are sickeningly violent. Flawless victory. But we all knew that we needed to cast some really amazing, talented people to make it feel real. Lewis Tan's an incredible athlete, incredible fighter. The guy works so hard, it was just unbelievable. He just did not stop. I come from a fighting background. Real martial arts to me is very similar to acting because it's all about expression. There's so much fighting in this movie that a lot of times after shooting one fight, we need to practice for some other fight that's going to take place because we just don't have enough time. I knew Joe was going to be Sub-Zero from day one. Joe's got that pure athleticism. I made the mistake of watching the raid a couple nights before we fought, and I go, I gotta fight this dude? I gotta fight? I gotta fight that dude? Joe was faster than everyone. Joe was too fast. Joe was so fast, they had to ask him to slow it down for the camera. It was like two guys that's ever happened to. Joe Taslim and Bruce Lee. A fight scene and a drama scene, they are the same. In a drama, you have the lines, but in a fight, it's just the agony, struggle, the pain, those are our lines. You cast for what's in their brain, what they've learned over the years, especially with something like martial arts. It's impossible to bring someone up to his level quickly. That's just not going to happen. The same goes for Hiroyuki Sonata. They both have a very similar set of qualities in that they have a presence, they have a look about them. We try to make a contrast between Sub-Zero and Scorpion. A little mixture between game and authentic Japanese style. Watching those two on set was one of the great privileges I'll ever have in my life. Get over here!